non para we are going to test the very first non parametric tests here so as today we have discussed the basic steps involved in testing uh, either in non parametric or non parametric tests so what are the steps first step you should write null hypothesis which is in de denoted by h not second you should write uh, if you write h not obviously you should specify h1 also then you should specify the sample data okay you should uh, collect a sample data and you should specify the level of significance okay? and uh, after level of significance you should write the test statistic and critical value test statistic decision to accept or reject so these are the steps which are going to be involved whether it is a parametric or non parametric test framing a null hypothesis collecting sample data specifying the level of significance writing the test statistic critical value test statistic and decision so uh, whether it is a non parametric or parametric test all these steps are compulsory so now let us enter into the non parametric test non parametric test under these tests you are going to read on the whole six tests you are going to read what are those means sign test okay run test wilcoxon even though the terms are little bit different the tests are very easy sign test run test wilcoxon signed rank test u test and median test so you are going to read uh, sign run wilcoxon sign rank test and u test and median test so under sign test again you will have one sample case and two samples run also we'll have one sample and two sample this is only for two sample case so u test also it is under for one test only so uh, you are going to read uh, these sign and run test under two cases one sample and two sample run test also or this is run test for one sample run test for two samples wilcoxon sign rank test means only single test u test means single test median test means single test now uh, let us go let, before going to this let us see what do you mean by one sample and what do you mean by two samples whenever i write that x1 x2 xn is a sample drawn from a population with pdf f of x this comes under one sample as we are collecting a single sample here two samples means i am going to specify two samples as x1 x2 so on xn y1 y2 yn are two samples drawn from two different populations f1x and f2y so one sample means we'll have a single sample of size n with so and so pdf two samples means you are going to have x1 x2 xn y1 y2 yn so again under two sample case you are going to observe whenever these two samples are same here the sample size is n here also the sample size is n whenever these two are same we call these as paired samples when do we use the pair means for each observation on x1 we have the associated observation on y also means if we have 10 observations on first sample you are going to have 10 on y also so we have equal number of observations in both the samples we call that as paired sample so what is the other case in a two sample means if i say that under two sample only if i collect x1 x2 so on xn1 y1 y2 yn2 so these two are called uh, two different samples of different sizes we call those as independent samples so uh, before going to discuss the uh, sign or run test first of all you should know what do you, uh, what do you mean by one sample what do you mean by two samples one sample means simply x1 x2 xn 
of size n drawn from a population we are going to specify in that way whenever two samples means you are going to name itself tell that you are going to collect two samples x1 x2 xn xn y1 y2 yn so again whenever we collect equal number of observations in the two samples so let us say that from a related to first sample we have collected 10 observations and also in the second sample we have collected 10 observations in such case we call those as simply paired samples paired means equal number of observations on the two samples the other case with two samples are nothing but with different sample sizes which we call those as independent samples so this is the introduction for one and two samples now we are going to enter into the first test called sign test as i said you that sign test is for one sample and two sample so run test is also for one time one sample and two samples so let us say that we are going to read the sign test for one sample so uh, you should specify you should, what are the how do you write the procedure for this or what are the uh, procedure steps involved in this procedure is nothing but first you should specify the terms uh, or the regarding the sample then you should write that distribution of the test statistic then you should write the test statistic then the decision again I repeat for, for any test you should write the you should specify about the sample then you should write the null hypothesis then you should write the test statistic and decision now coming to this test called the sign test for one sample one sample means you should write let x1 x2 so on xn this these steps are common for all the tests let x1 x2 xn be a random sample drawn from a population with pdf all these we are going to discuss are nothing but continuous so let us say that we have as it is a one sample case x1 x2 xn be a random sample drawn from a normal from a population with pdf fx theta or simply fx now after specifying this you you should write the null hypothesis as i said you should write the null hypothesis null hypothesis is indicated by h naught you should specify the null hypothesis uh, in sentence form literally and symbolically also so wherever you are doing in non parametric test the null hypothesis for one sample is nothing but the we are going to use median here not mean so the null hypothesis is common for one sample test in non parametric test again i repeat the null hypothesis is same for all the one sample tests in np test so here the null hypothesis is nothing but median there is no significance difference between the median calculated value and experimental value or h naught such that median is equal to specified value and alternative hypothesis is nothing but m not equal to m not or m is equal to m1 so under sign test for one sample one sample you write the description about the sample and pdf under null hypothesis always the null hypothesis here is the median is equal to specified value so you after null hypothesis you should write the alternative also so you should write the test statistic here to write the test statistic okay now let us see how to obtain the test statistic for sign test so what i mean by sign in general sign means either positive or negative so these are called the signs for signs in general so as the name itself tells tells that it's a sign test you should we should be able to understand that it is a concept the test statistic is going to be based on the signs so which signs means what you need to do is nothing but after collecting the data say sample of uh, n size find the differences x1 minus m0 x2 minus m0 so on xn minus m0 means for each day for if from each observation you subtract the given median value and identify the signs here so some of them may be positive 
okay some of them may be negative means you are going some may be zero also what you need to do to obtain the test statistic find the difference of observations from median and observe the signs here some of may be positive some of may be negative some of may be zero so either the signs are going to be plus or minus so we can observe that the pattern of this if you consider the number of signs is a variable here okay number of signs as a variable you can take that let us say that number of signs is a variable then we can say that uh, you can take u as the minimum of positive comma negative signs let us say that you got number of positive signs as 40 and number of negative signs as 10 then u is going to be 10 here so if you take that as a variable as we have only two options here you can consider that u follows a binomial distribution whenever we have only two alternatives like failure and success then uh, we always that uh, variable is going to follow a normal distribution and it is going to follow a normal distribution with parameters n comma p n is nothing but total number of trials here why we have considered p as half is nothing but as median is the value which divides the data into two equal halves you are going to get exactly uh, uh, equal chance of getting both positive and negative signs so here p is half u is the minimum of positive and negative signs and we can observe that u follows a binomial distribution with parameters n comma 1 by 2 just we have identified the distribution now you should write the test statistic to write the test statistic you are going to have two cases called small sample case and large sample case let us see what is a uh, uh, small sample case whenever the sample collected is less than 30 or less than 25 uh, less than 25 we call this as a small sample whenever the sample is more than 25 the sample collected it is a size of less than 35 means it comes under small sample case whenever the sample collected is more than 25 it comes under large sample case when it is a small sample case we are going to uh, write, uh, take the test statistic as the pmf itself what is the pmf of normal uh, binomial distribution ncx p power x into q power x in general as u is the variable here you will get ncu p is 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 whole power u 1 by 2 whole power n minus u so you will get ncu 1 by 2 whole power n this is nothing but p of u here so if it is a small sample case that the test statistic is the pmf itself this p of u is compared with alpha which is called the level of significance you, you should compare P or 2 into P time P or PMF with the alpha whenever this is greater than 2 times probability is greater than alpha means we are going to accept H naught that median is equal to a specified value whenever this 2 times P of U is less than alpha we are going to reject the null hypothesis so the decision has arrived in case of small sample case whenever it is a large sample case we are we are going to use the test statistic always being indicated with z which is given by you how do you define the st standard normal variate z is equal to x minus mu by sigma am i right z is for standard normal variate whenever it's a large sample case always the test statistic is indicated with z which is nothing but x uh, generally we write z as x minus mu by sigma here u is the variable so z is equal to u minus expectation of u by root over variance of u follows n01 n01 means standard normal distribution we know that uh, u follows a binomial distribution with parameters n comma 1 by 2 what is the formula for e of uh, what is the mean of no binomial distribution np means n into 1 by 2 which is nothing but n by 2 what is the variance of binomial variate npq which is nothing but n into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 which is nothing but n by 4 the, the test statistic is u minus n by 2 by root over n by 4 
follows n01 so you will calculate z from the given data now to come to the decision to accept or reject you are going to compare mod z with z alpha by 2 where z alpha by 2 is the critical value from standard normal distribution whenever mod z is less than z alpha by 2 we are going to accept h0 whenever mod z greater than z alpha by 2 we are going to reject h0 so in the small sample case when it is less than we have rejected when it is greater than we accepted here it is going to be reversed whenever mod z less than z alpha by 2 we accept here whenever 2 pu is less than alpha we are rejecting so uh, while taking the decision small and large samples are going to differ so this is about sign test for one sample. So let us do a problem on this so that you will understand the procedure uh, uh, in a better way. So for all these cases always you should work out a problem to understand it. So let us do a problem on this for one sample. Okay, this is the question, sign test, one sample. A test is conducted for 20 students in a school and marks are given below. So, you are given with the marks 93, 88, 107, 115, 82, 97, 103, 86, 113, 107. These are the marks given for 20 students in a test conducted for students in a school. Now, the question here is... To test the hypothesis, <coughs> test, the question is to test the hypothesis that median of median marks of students is 99 using run sign test. Okay, the question will be clear to you. Uh, it is given that the marks of 20 students for a, uh, for 20 students in a school were given to you. You need to test the hypothesis that median of the marks in a, uh, of the students is 99 using sign test. So, whenever we use a median test, you should be able to understand that it is a non-parametric test because in large and small sample test we are not going to use either median or mode here only there we are going to use mean and median which will be discussed in unit 2 and 3 here always we are going to use the average as median here so moreover it is clearly given it's a sign you need to conduct a sign test here and how what is the sample size here is the, for a for conduct a, the test the mark for 20 students are given to you n always stands for the sample size what is the sample size here 20 we have decided that if the sample is less than 25 it is going to be small sample when it is greater than 25 it is going to be the large sample so as this is uh, you need to analyze in this way n is 20 which is less than 25 clearly it's a small sample test so after doing this uh, you need to write the null hypothesis. I think this is the first step in, in any test. What is the null hypothesis here? The question here is to test the hypothesis that median marks of the students is 99. So we'll, the how to frame the null hypothesis means whatever may be the question given to you, you need to take that as the null hypothesis. What is the question here? To test the hypothesis that median marks of the students is 99. So we consider that the null hypothesis is the median marks of students is 
99 whatever is given you should take uh, it, it is given as question mark you should take that as it is is the median marks of nine, um, students is 99 means the null hypothesis will be yes the median marks of the students is 99 then you should write that as symbolically also m is equal to 99 so here m not is nothing but we are writing the null hypothesis for testing of uh, sign test as m is equal to m not so here m not will be 99 so what is it which test are you going to use here sign test so sign test small sample case whether it is a small or small uh, large sample case you should write the test statistic so what is the test statistic here means you should say uh, think of the title of the test what is the title here sign means you should focus on the signs how to find the sign means you should subtract xi minus m not each observation you should subtract from median and you should identify the number of signs here so uh, identify the data given to you i think this is the data given to you 93 98 uh, 107 1 these are the 20 observations given to you you subtract 93 minus 99 What is the sign of the difference? Minus eighty-eight minus ninety-nine minus one zero seven minus ninety-nine plus one one five minus ninety-nine plus. So you try to I no need to consider the magnitude. Just you consider the sign of the differences by subtracting. Well, I think we did the same in the procedure. Ninety-three minus ninety-nine, eighty-eight minus nineteen, one zero one zero four minus ninety-nine. If we do in that way. Uh, we will get a sequence of signs in this way first one is minus minus i am uh, writing those directly you can do by considering the differences i got these differences and somewhere i got zero also so how many you should get together 20 count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 So you count number of positive signs here. What are the number of positive signs here? Number of positive signs are ten. Count the number of negative signs, which is nothing but nine. You count any zeros. What are the number of zeros here? Whenever the we have any number of zeros one or two, you should reduce the sample size. So reduced sample size will be actually we have twenty. As we have one zero here, the sample size is going to be reduced by that. If you find two zeros here, you'll get twenty minus two eighteen as the new sample size. If there were no zeros, you are going to consider twenty as the sample size. So is it a small sample or large sample case under scientist? we have two test statistics one under small sample and one under large sample what is the test statistic when it is a small sample the pmf itself is the test statistic so uh, to identify the pmf you should identify the minimum u is the variable which indicates minimum of positive comma negative signs what is the number of positive signs here 10 Number of negative signs nine. What is the minimum number here? U is nothing but nine. You should identify in that way. You should find the number of signs by taking the difference from median. Then you should take count the number of positive signs, number of negative signs. The minimum of these is going to be the random variable U. Here the random variable is nine. So let us write the test statistics. What is the case when it is a small sample and large sample? When it is, a, we know that this is a binomial variate here. the pmf what is the pmf here if you if you consider u as the variable ncu 1 by 2 whole power u 1 by 2 whole power n minus u so the pmf will be ncu 1 by 2 whole power n is the pmf here two times pmf you need to calculate and you are going to compare this value with the level of significance alpha if it is less than 2 p of u is less than alpha we reject otherwise we accept if it is a large sample i said you that under large sample test test statistic always is z which is nothing but u minus expectation of u by root over variance of u follows n01 so uh, whenever mod z is less than z alpha by 2 we reject we accept null hypothesis otherwise we 
accept the null hypothesis it is clear that here n is 19 so which is nothing but the small sample here so you should calculate p of u what is p of u n of u just now we have done whole power n what is n is nothing but 19 c u is nothing but 9 1 by 2 whole power 19 please calculate this value uh, uh, and you find out the two times of this you use this uh, 19 c 9 can be done using your calculator even this can be done using your calculator so you will get this as around 0 0.5 you are going to get two times p of uh, uh, u will be so what is alpha to compare means alpha we call as the level of significance level of significance which is usually taken as 5 percent so which is nothing but 0 0.05 so you should compare 2 into p of u is nothing but 0 0.5 and alpha is 0 0.05 this is a fixed value this is a this alpha is always fixed value no need to bother you should calculate this only this is a fixed value just compare these two here 2p of u is clearly greater than 0 0.05 which is nothing but alpha so whenever 2p of u is greater than alpha we are going to accept h0 so what is h0 here h0 is nothing but the median marks of the students is 99 so we accept the statement called the median marks of the students is 99 okay Thank you.